Puppy Adventures, Tale 3. This is part one of a two-part series called The Puppies Get Confused. Copyright 2012 by Debbie Dunn. Who remembers how many dogs lived in the house behind Aunt Debbie's log cabin? Pause the video. Four. How many of those four dogs were grown-up dogs? And how many of those four dogs were puppies? Pause the video. There was one grown-up dog and three puppies. Does anybody recall their names? Pause the video. The grown-up dog was called Big Dog, although his real name was Puppy. The puppies were named Freckles, Little Bit, and Ears. There was a problem. The puppies were starting to get confused. There's Freckles on the left, Ears in the middle, and Little Bit on the right. Big Dog wasn't confused. He knew exactly where he lived. For six years, he had lived in the house on the hill. He figured he'd go right on living there for many more years to come. Big Dog seemed to understand that he was only a visitor in Aunt Debbie's side and backyard. On the other hand, he made sure he marked his territory all over Aunt Debbie's deck and yard so that no other male dog would dare trespass there. How do dogs mark their territory? Pause the video. They hike their legs and urinate a small amount in several locations. And of course this picture, pretend that I look like Big Dog. One day, a few weeks before the puppies were born, Aunt Debbie was washing dishes in the kitchen sink. She looked out the window and saw something rather surprising. She called out to her husband, Randy, a large black dog just entered the crawl space underneath our back deck. I've never seen that dog before. A few minutes later, she heard something loud and scary. She rushed to the front door and wrenched it open. Nothing was happening in the front yard. Nothing was happening in the road. Then she looked in the ditch located across the road. Big Dog and that Black Dog were fighting. They were growling. They were biting with their teeth. They were scratching with their claws. Since Big Dog was so much bigger than the Black Dog, he was winning the fight. Aunt Debbie felt scared. She was afraid that Big Dog would kill the Black Dog. From her front porch, she yelled, Stop! Stop that! Stop! The dogs did not stop fighting. Uncle Randy got up from working on his computer and came running. He too tried to yell them apart. However, they did not stop fighting. Stop! Stop that! Stop! Then Uncle Randy came up with a clever idea. He went outside and turned on the hose full blast. Then he aimed a water stream at both dogs. After a few minutes, the black dog gave up fighting. He got in a submissive pose to indicate that he realized that Big Dog had won the fight. Big Dog then stalked across the road, crawled underneath the yellow fence, and stood in Aunt Debbie's front yard. He watched with blazing eyes until the black dog ran toward his own home far away. I have won the fight. The message was clear. The black dog now understood that Aunt Debbie's yard was part of Big Dog's property. 
the black dog realized that he should never come back and visit Aunt Debbie's yard again. Big dog thinks, don't come back. As far as Aunt Debbie knows, the black dog has never returned. It was a few weeks later that Blondie gave birth to nine puppies and Scooter gave birth to six puppies. Who remembers what happened to the two mama dogs? Pause the video. The owners gave them away because they did not want any more puppies. Who remembers what happened to 12 of those puppies? Pause the video. One puppy got run over by a riding lawnmower. Five puppies got kidnapped or dog napped. The owners found homes for six of the puppies. Before the mama dogs were given away, they would frequently bring some of the baby puppies into Aunt Debbie's yard. That is how those little pups discovered that it was lots of fun to hide under the back deck. When the puppies got old enough, they learned that sometimes Aunt Debbie would put out some people food for them to eat. Once there were only three puppies left, they began to spend more and more time at Aunt Debbie's house. They would take naps on her mini trampoline. They would also take naps on the sunny sidewalk, the green grass, or on the brown painted deck. Sometimes she would hear the puppies tramping around their front porch in the middle of the night. Sometimes she would hear the puppies whimpering right outside the side door of her log cabin. Just about every time Aunt Debbie looked out her window, she would see the puppies sleeping or wrestling or playing or eating. One day, Aunt Debbie turned to Uncle Randy and said, I think those puppies are confused. I think they think they live here. Uncle Randy said, I think you're right. Aunt Debbie said, or maybe they are like Big Dog that thinks that both yards belong to him. Uncle Randy said, I just hope they don't get hit by a car. Just about every time I return home and pull into the driveway, those puppies come running. Uncle Randy continued, They run down their owner's driveway, they cross that busy road, they crawl under the yellow fence, they usually run single file up our backyard, and then they dash over to my car and try to climb inside. Aunt Debbie said, I hope they don't get hit by a car either. To be continued. Tune into the next video to hear the rest of the story of The Puppies Get Confused.